So welcome everybody, I'm the Korean Boy Connoisseur and this is the first video on this channel. If you couldn't tell by the name already, this channel is going to be dedicated towards career mode where I bring my take to career mode which is realistic while still having loads of fun but messing around here and there. So for the first career I thought why not use the create a club feature, I enjoyed it a lot last year and there's so many possibilities with it man, the amount of clubs you can create with it, you can go for like a club that you know in real life, you know, a club that already exists but it's maybe in like a Sunday league tier, or you know maybe you can base it off your own Sunday league team, or you know you could choose a national team, something like that, but the club I'm going to be creating is going to be based on an area in South London called Croydon, now the reason I, I decided to uh, make a club based in Croydon is because there's not many teams in South London on, uh, on not only FIFA but in real life in general you know you've got you've got your teams in like South East London like Millwall, Charlton and then uh, you've got like Sutton, Wimbledon who are in like South West I think but you don't actually have many teams that are like literally in South itself you know you have Crystal Palace I think are like the only team one of the only teams in, in South London so I thought, you know, there's so many teams in like North, East, West, you know, why not spice it up a little bit with South and, you know, add, add Croydon into the mix. Obviously, it's a, it's a big area, you know, a lot of people know about Croydon. Um, it's got a bit of a reputation, so you know, I feel like it would be really nice to have them in FIFA and, and try and get them into the Premier League, you know, finally give Crystal Palace that rival that, they, that they've been waiting for for so long. So as you can see in the background now, we're just creating the kits. And the reason why I've decided to go for black and white is because... I just like the colours black and white, you know, I really like some of the teams that use it, like Juventus, I think it looks decent on Newcastle as well, and uh, I do know Croydon have, I believe it is, like light blue and dark blue in real life, and I was originally going to go with those colours, but I thought to myself, you know what, black and white looks nice, there's not a lot of teams that use those colours in, uh, in the Premier League, so, you know, I thought, you know, why not go with them, it looks really nice, and really clean, and, you know, we, we can switch it up since this year they've added um, two kits. They've added an additional option uh, to have a third kit. So, yeah, the third kit's going to add like loads of possibilities with the amount of switching up you can do in terms of what kit you want to wear. So as I'm setting up the rest of the kits, I just want to talk a bit about what we're going to be doing in this career mode, how it's going to work, um, how the episodes are going to work. So every episode we're going to be playing around about, I would say, three to five games. And um, it's because we're in League 2 at the moment, there's so many games to be played. I think there's like 24 teams in the league, which means there's an additional, what, uh, it's probably an additional like 8 games, 8, 9 games. Uh, you also have the Papa John's Trophy as well, so there's going to be so many games to play. And I know that you lot probably won't want to be seeing all of the nitty gritty matches. It'll be much better if I just stick the highlights into a video so we can get the games done quickly and we can progress to the higher leagues quicker. The games in which I will be showing the full footage for will probably be the really important ones. For example, if we have a good cup run, uh, say we're playing the team at Liverpool or City and it's you know a really important game, or maybe towards the end of the season in the league, if there's a really important game, then I'll be you know live commentating that and I'll probably be putting the, the full game on it. But apart from that, it's just going to be highlights. Also, another thing I'm going to be doing, or I might be doing, is um, at the end of each season, I'm going to be putting out a little... Um, a little highlight reel of the individual players you know say a player has a standout season uh, i'm going to be putting them all of his skills and goals into like, a nice little edit of a, a song in the background and some cool little effects and stuff like that but anyway getting into the actual career mode itself the squad that they gave us isn't too bad we've got some decent players here and there like that woodwood he doesn't look too bad we've got uh watts who was also looking at decent nice young player there moving on to the youth academy here we have some well pretty, pretty stacked youth academy off the bat we have Harvey Smith here, who's the homegrown talent, 61 rated, 5 star, 5 star, can't get much better than that, also 6 foot 5, he's an absolute unit, uh, so he'll be going straight into the first team, uh, and the first thing I'm just doing here is uh, setting up scouts and all of that, um, but it was my mistake not to live commentary over this uh, when I was running through it, I just decided to, um, to record it and then go back over it later, but anyway, not much happened within the period of you know, me starting the career mode and the first game and the reason for that is because I want to make sure that you know I get a feel for the team before we dive straight into making transfers you know I want to make sure that 
I'm not signing people in pointless positions or anything like that because you know there's no need to waste money especially when you have a tight budget when you first start uh, it'd be it'd be pointless to just go out and spend money on say a striker when we've got you know two strikers in the mix already so I always like playing the first game before we, we get ahead and go to the transfers all right, so here we go. First game of the season against Wimbledon. Uh, early chance here from Hassan, who was unfortunate to hit the post there. But we immediately, or they immediately, go straight back down the pitch with a close attack. So nice ball through here to Davison. Puts it in the back of the net. It's a really poor start from us. Really poor defending there from the boys at the back. And the beater, Andy Carroll. God knows who that guy even is. Bags one against us, but here, about 10 minutes or just before half time, enough a ball played in, and it's an absolute scuff of a shot there from, I believe that's the same player. And, um, you know, they're all over us this game here. Uh, the reason why I'm just rushing in the goals into one video is because it was an embarrassing game. Uh, this game is just one that I wanted to get out of the way. Uh, I'm not sure you don't want to see me get spanked 4 0. But it is where it is, you know, Wimbledon, I think they're fresh up from the National League, if I'm if I'm correct. I'm not sure. I heard I heard someone say that, but I'm not I'm not entirely sure if they are. But anyway, they showed us levels, you know. Um we got absolutely bossed by a team that's definitely been in League Two a couple of times here and there. But back to the drawing board now. Um, this is when I knew we needed to make transfers, alright, we lost our first two games, as you can see there's a cup game there against Stoke that we lost and I simulated that because I just can't be bothered to play cup games if I'm being honest, um, I just, this early on in the stage I just simulate them uh, to see where we can go, but you know that's not my priority, my priority is based on the league and you know that's where I want to get the most progress in. So as you can see here, we're just scrolling through the free agents list. Um, if you know anything about FIFA, career mode in specific, then you'll know that free agents are the absolute best place to go uh, when you start off a career mode. It's a, it's a degenerate thing to do, but man, you've got to do what you've got to do, you know what I mean? You've got to do what you've got to do. And there's, there's so many Qatar players or players from Qatar here. Uh, it's something I noticed. There's also quite a few Mexicans as well. But I, I'm eyeing up this guy, Alvarado, Roberto Alvarado. Um, who's absolutely got no hair on his head whatsoever, but we don't care, man. We're taking it straight to the to the office here to try and get this man a contract. Um, but yeah, the reason why I took a look to him is because he, he was an attacker and he, he seems to have really good stats. You know, he's, he's a fast player, agile, and um, he's someone that we need in the attack. You know, we, we can't score goals the first two games of the season, We're struggling to score goals. And, um, and that's why I signed this man, you know, we're giving him a fat contract, 11k, you know, it makes all the other players look like coal miners out here in a League 2 club, we're earning 11k, that's a lot of money. But um, as you can see here, the new animation, already putting in the work on the treadmill there, got some, some people eyeing him up in the background, acting a bit sus back there, you know, they're trying to, they know he's going to take the spot, that's why, they know he's, they know he's going to take the spot. Uh, but here we have him, he's only a little guy there nothing of him barely nothing of him um but he's in black and white already the black and white strips of croydon and he's ready to go man look at him he's, he's, he looks boss out here man he's fucking posing and all of that he's, he's on it already um, but yeah there we go that's the first transfer of the uh of the career mode roberto alvarado that gets an a a star is it an, no it's just an a you get five mil he's valued at which is probably more than our club <laughs> but um yeah, just got a few more players on here. We've got Ronan O'Neill. Uh, just a few players that I was eyeing up. Enough a free agent, enough a Mexican, uh, who actually looked really good. I was going to go in for him, but I decided to go in for this guy instead. Uh, Croatian and Maric, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, but we take him to the office as well. We're trying to offer him a contract. Only 18 years of age, so you know, super young, fresh player. Uh, we're trying to offer him a contract here, but I didn't realise that we actually drained most of our budget from that um, Alvarado signing. So we're kind of going into this empty-handed, just clutching straws here, trying to give him, you know, in, insert the 50p, the 50p meme. But nah, this, this guy looks really good, but unfortunately we couldn't pull it off because we just didn't have the funds to offer him a nice salary. Uh, but Alvarado, I'm happy with him. You know, he's the highest rated player in the team, coming in at a uh, just wait, 74 rated. It's really high here. We've got to fit my man up with number 11. Got to fit him up with a number 11, man. He's, he's a boss player. Deserves whatever number he wants. But yeah, straight into the, into the next game after that. You know, no messing around. Alvarado straight into the starting lineup. And um, 
I'm going to be rocking with our I change it to the red strip here. I'm going to be rocking with our new red strip. Not a fan of it too much, but you know you can't you can't be giving the club good kits off the bat. You know there's that that's to come in the better leagues. Second game of the season against Carlisle, heading all the way up north to the very far away from South London. But it's a trip that we're trying to remember. We're trying to get our first win of League Two out here, and they have a chance very early on. I thought this was going to be a penalty there. Uh, the, the attacker stumbles over after he blanks wide. But um, yeah, need to need to be wary of our defence. But here we are on the attack. We've got Kirk with the build-up play to Hassan back to Kirk. Decent attempt there, but the keeper stretches out, and it's a nice save there. But we're already looking better than we did against the past two teams. Here we have Hassan again, who was a, a nuisance to them all game long, wins a free kick here. And um, Hassan's sitting in that cam position right now. I really like him there, he's an agile player. Uh, he can, can create chances out of nothing, and you know he's a player that's going to play a big part in, um, in our attacking build-up in this game. Let's see what we can do out of this free kick here. Got the goalkeeper standing tall, and Stevens, there's no way you're taking this, mate. You're just not good at free kicks. We're going to have Alvarado on this, the new boy Alvarado. Let's see what he can do, man. See what his bald head can conjure up. Let's see what he's saying with the free kicks. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this new free kick system, but let's see what he's saying, though. I think it might, might be better than the next one, but here we have Alvarado who strikes it, and it's gone in. Oh, on his debut. What an absolute scenery we have here. The bald man, the bald Mexican, has just bagged on his debut. What a goal. He's giving it to the away fans. Or the home fans should I say already and that's an absolute scorcher of a free kick from the Mexican with a hyper motion in full play here and look at this left footed absolute incredible technique on this just bends it over the wall <laughs> I mean there's no chance for the keeper he gets sent flying and Alvarado what a way to mark yourself as a Croydon player man that's an excellent goal as you can see there the gaffer's pleased clapping with his Jesus trim what a player that is. Here we have some more attacking football from us. And our confidence is just up in this game. It's just all the way up. As Knight is through here. The centre-back Knight is going all the way. And he dinks it past the keeper. It's a wonderful finish from the centre-back out of all players. Comes tumbling up from, from the defence. And that's just an excellent finish there. You'd think he's a striker with that kind of technique. But... That's the sort of stuff that happens in League 2, man. You've got fucking goalkeepers playing outfield. You've got centre-backs playing striker. It's just the joys of playing at this kind of level. But what a finish that is, man. Just tucks it under the keeper's arm. He's getting hassled by that crackhead behind him, trying to rip his shirt off or something. But what a finish that is, man. What a finish. But anyway, they have a close chance here. It's a good save from Coleman there. Standing tall in goal. Tries to dink it over him, but it's a good save. And they didn't have many chances this game. It was just us running the show. It's a ball from Hassan through to Stevens here, who tucks it away. Striker's first goal of the season. It's a lovely finish, calm and composed. And, it, and once again, it's a sample in the strings there from the attacking midfield position. Lovely little ball snuck through for Stevens to poach upon. Hassan pulling the strings here, easy ball through. Stevens shifts off his man. It's an easy finish, really. Their defence just wasn't on it all game, but. This is just a glimpse of the attacking football that we're going to be getting this team to play. And as I said, Stevens isn't even going to be the star man this season. We've got that, that striker, the, um, the youth academy player, who's looking a bit better than him. Here we have enough of a chance from them. Build up plays nice, plays it through here. And it's a good save from the keeper again. Um, does he even get a touch on that? I'm not sure. But um, they make some substitutions and so do we. It's a nice build up play here. Stevens again denied by a strong palm from the goalkeeper and they go straight on the counter-attack after this really really quick move from them they're just building up 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 and um, not sure what's happening with our defense here it's really poor defending from uh, I think the man who scored the goal is just standing there watching them score now I don't know what he's doing but um, yeah it's a it's a I'm not really not really gonna say it's a nice goal from them it's, it's fairly easy but I mean, just look at this shambolic defending, really. I don't know what he's doing. He's just standing off him. He goes near the post and just pelts it in. Fair play to him. It's a good finish. It's enough a chance for them here. Once again, it's poor defending, just standing off. And the keeper makes a save this time. Poor clearance from the defender. It's back in here and it's enough a good save from Gibson or from, from Ryan, who's been good for us today. 
Here we have Woodard building up with Moore. Moore was decent on the wing all game. It's here to Kirk, who plays enough of ball through to Moore, who's sure on goal. Too much pace for them here. What's he going to do? He fires it wide. Disappointing finish there from the winger, but you know who can complain? We're still 3-1 up, and you know even if he misses that, it's, it's a massive improvement for next game as Jankovic off the bench creates a little chance here. Keeper makes some kind of Superman save there. Looks glue on his hands or something. But there we go, guys. That is the second game of the season or third game if you don't include the cup run. Done and dusted there. Our first win of the season. Really nice from the boys there, playing excellent football. Uh, defense was a lot better, a lot more well-rounded. But yeah, the attack was really good to that game as well. Alvarado grabbing his first goal, an amazing free kick. And uh, yeah, that man, we didn't see much of him in terms of his, his dribbling ability or his, his creating chances, but the free kick was his main highlight. And yeah, it was, it was an excellent free kick and what a way to get our first win. But yeah, that was, uh, that was a really nice game there against Carlisle United. Really nice little win from us. I'm really happy for Alvarado to get his first goal of the season. A lovely little free kick from the Magician. Really excited to see what he has to offer us in the future. Best player in the team, I think, by far. But um, yeah, really, really golden deal there. We struck gold with him. And uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, it's been a bit of a, a jumbled up episode. You know, it's, it's the first time I'm kind of getting used to this whole editing thing. And, you know, commentating over it. I'm going to change that in the future. It's going to be a live commentary style uh, video when I'm in the menus and that. And then the commentary on the um, the actual gameplay itself will, will be as I did it today, you know, post commentary. Um, but we will be doing more of like live commentary in the future for the for the bigger games. But just for these, you know, these, these little games here that we're going to squeeze into one video, it's going to be like post commentary type stuff. But yeah, that, that just about does it then. Uh, not, not much else to say really. If you enjoyed the video, obviously leave a like if you want to. And um, if you if you just want more career modes like this, you know we're gonna be milking this career demand all the way up until we we win everything really. You know it's gonna go on for a while, all the way from League Two to uh to the Premier League, to playing in the Champions League. You know it's gonna go on for ages. We've got so much to achieve in it. And um, yeah, if you want to stay tuned for an exciting career mode, then subscribe and. Stay tuned for more videos, I guess. I appreciate you watching and see you later.